Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week on Monday the 10th of July 2023. In mid-June we went long the volatility index, the VIX, and uh, we, as you can see here we had a, a pretty uh, sideways to downward trading trend and uh, it didn't take us out with our stop loss before last week we had this anticipated rise in volatility uh, which uh, then led to a potential nice profit. So if you haven't cashed in your profits on that trade, uh, I would uh, suggest that you raise your stop loss limit to your entry price or to the last reaction low, at least uh, here just below the 1563 low seen at the end of June. Then we also had another trade on which was to go short the Nasdaq 100 on that break of the May to July uptrend line, which has now acted as resistance. This one hasn't been stopped out. We still have a stop in place of 15,285, just above these highs. And we still have our downside target uh, inside as well. So that's tra this trade is also still ongoing. Um, there's no reason to change it at the moment. And then last week, we wanted to go short orange juice and had a good uh, risk reward set up on this trade. But as you can see here, we actually gapped lower uh, when the market opened last Monday. And therefore, we wouldn't have entered this trade on the short side because our risk reward setup would have been uh, not as uh, advantageous. And uh, it was right not to do that because as you can see here, since then, the price of orange juice has actually risen. So had we gone short here, with that stop loss, we would have had a much larger uh, loss because we would have been stopped out above the last reaction highs. So in this case, we didn't enter that trade simply because we had this gap down. We didn't get our entry level when we wanted it. So in that case, you don't trade when the setups are not uh, aligned in the way you want them to be. Which uh, brings us to this week's uh, trade of the week, and it is to go short copper. As you can see here, copper has come off since its June highs and then has traded on a sideways trading rate below the um, 200 day simply moving average here in red. So that together uh, with the uh, low seen back at the end of April should offer pretty good resistance going forward. And therefore I'd like to go short copper around current levels with a stop loss just above these highs uh, and levels around $8,479 and a downside target around $7,900. So this week's uh, trade of the week is to go short copper with a stop loss at $8,479 and a downside target at $7,900.